If you saw my video I put up last week, you'll see I went to Primark and I bought some jogging bottoms and four t-shirts. The ones I got from the women's department, one of them was quite poor quality actually, so I took that back and I got my money back. And I looked round and they actually went back into the men's department and they'd got these jogging bottoms reduced from £10 to £5 down to £3. And they are really good thick ones, ready for winter. I'm buying all the warm clothes I can find. And this was at the charity shop, £4. Again, really thick with a hood, preparing for winter. And I also called it little on the way back and I got some bargains, I'll show you what I got there. But even if you can't get out and about, have you got a friend that you can call upon? And get them if they're looking at reduced things. Say so next time you go, uh, will you call and call me if there's things that are reduced that I might be interested in? We need to build up community and get a group of people around us and then we can all help each other. Anyway, let's have a look and see what I've got from Lidl. I was out for the day, actually I was at, at Primark um, returning those uh, t-shirts and I called at a Lidl on the way back. And fortunately, I was there just as she was reducing things for the final time. So you normally do see the orange 30% off stickers, but then uh, later on at night, they, they reduce things again. And I got these two goat's cheese and butternut squash frittatas reduced to 20p. And I got a full fat one pint milk 20p and if you saw the video i put up last friday you'll see that what i'll do with that is um, water it down so that will make double i got the mango chunks reduced to 20p as well so i got two of those and they are, they normally have a bin that's got things reduced from the grocery aisle and i got these penguin biscuits that those were 30% off. Just buy something like that and pop one in your handbag or your bag when you're going out and you've always got something to eat. Although I did take one of those grab and goes. I'll put a link in the video description and I, I'll show you what I mean about a grab and go. It's just basically some cereal and other things that I, I mix together and always have on hand ready to take with me. Uh, I called it a Tesco's and I got just a French stick reduced to 24p. And Lidl are also uh, still holding the price on this Sunday Blend Fresh Coffee. Um, that's still £1.49. So the way I'm thinking, with these prices absolutely soaring, um, is to go out and do what we can. So if you see things reduced, get them reduced and then with any money you've got spare, stock up on um, your basic food items. Just buy things that you normally buy. Don't buy anything that you don't you won't eat or you're just wasting your money. But buy things that you normally buy at today's prices because with the fuel going up and the energy prices going up, inflation's just going to really soar. So save your money now, even though prices are going up now, that it's going to be nothing in comparison to what it's going to be like in winter. So we've got to prepare now for what it's going to be like in the future. Uh, so get things when you see them reduced. Stock your cupboards up as much as you possibly can afford to. And any money you've got over, if you've got any over, is to pop on one side ready for these fuel bills that are going to rise again certainly in the UK in October so my gas bill will have gone up 12% last October 54% that they're saying it will go up um, at 1st of April so that's 60-70% and they're already forecasting 47% again in October 
So you're talking 120 plus in a year. So do what you can, people. Prepare as much as you can and you feel like you're doing something. You feel like things are still in your control to a certain degree. And don't dwell on things. Go out there, go for walks in nature, have a day off. Think, I, I do a, a Sunday video, I don't know if you've, if you've seen them, I do my Sunday videos where I just go out and chill, relax and forget about the world. I was at, actually out walking the other day, um, doing a Sunday video, and I walked past some allotments and, uh, well, I'll just show you the clip and the bit, see what I got for free. Well, I've just been out foraging for some nettles and dandelions and I called by some allotments and I met a wonderful guy called Melvin who showed me around his allotment and he'd got these gooseberry bushes that had laid themselves. This is, this is, um, his gooseberry bushes were from an original bush that was 40 years old. So this is a variety that must be 40 years old and he gave me one. So we'll just pot it up. He also gave me some compost. Bless him. This is that tub that I grew the chilli in. And I thought if I just revamped the compost with the new compost that uh, Melvin's given me. Stones, drainage, like put a few twigs in as they rot down the compost. And this is that compost again. Mix that all together. That looks good stuff. Lovely. Free gooseberry bush. Watch that in well. One gooseberry bush. Two blueberry bushes. And those pansies I got reduced last year. 